Hey everyone! So I've gotten a few requests asking if I can make a video showing how to make adapted highlight paper that you can use for printouts or to share during virtual sessions. So I'm going to give you a general overview of how I make my adapted highlight paper and I'll show you how to do it using Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides. Okay, so once you have Microsoft PowerPoint open, if you are planning on making printouts of your adapted highlight paper, the first thing you'd want to do is go to the design tab, click slide size, click custom slide size, and then you're going to want to change the dimensions of the slide to fit standard printer paper, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. So you're going to change the width to 8.5 inches and the height to 11 inches and then you'll hit OK and you'll click Ensure Fit. So that changed the dimensions of my PowerPoint slide. So now when I print it out, it will fit appropriately on 8.5 by 11 inch paper. The next thing I do is I just delete these text boxes here. That way we have a blank slide to work with. Now if you see in the top right here and on the left hand side there are measurements this shows you the dimensions of the slide and these measurements are going to be very helpful depending on what size you would like your adapted highlight lines to be. So for me personally, I like to zoom in. That way I can see everything a lot better. So I've zoomed in to about 110%. Next, I click Insert, Shapes, and I click the line shape. And then I give myself a little bit of space on the border of the document just in case the printout gets cut off or something like that. So I move down a little bit and I move over a little bit. If you can see where these red little lines are here, I'm starting at five, the five right here on the left and the four at the top. And I'm just going to drag that line to the other side. Same thing, I'm gonna give myself some space on the right hand side as well. Then I'm going to change the shape outline or the color of the line to black. And you can also change the weight or the thickness of the line here, as you can see. So let's go with two and a quarter. Then I'm going to copy this line. So this is the top part of my adapted lines. I'm just going to control copy, might be command copy if you're using a Mac. That's a quick shortcut and then control V or command V to paste. You can also right click copy and right click to paste. So let's say I want one inch line. So right here, the measurement tool, it goes by inches. So since I put the top part of my line at the number five over here, I'm going to drag the bottom part of my line to the number four. And that way it's a full inch right here and it's lined up with these numbers. Okay, and then for the middle line, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy one of these lines, paste it, and then I'm going to put it evenly in between both of these lines. So again, I can refer to the measurements here. So I'm putting it directly in between the four and the five, right in the middle where that middle line is. Now, to make this a dashed line, you're going to double click on the line. You're going to click Shape Outline and click dashes and there are different dashes that you can choose from so let's say i want to choose these dashes and there you go you have your first regular one inch handwriting line now you could leave it just like this or if you'd like to turn it into an adapted highlight line you would click insert shapes choose the rectangle shape here and then you're going to click and drag to fill in just underneath the dotted line. And you could choose whatever color you want. I'm just going to go with yellow. And you can drag this to bring it down so it's not covering the dotted lines. Or what you could also do is you could send it backwards. So if you see this button right up here that says send backward, if you send it backward, it's going to go behind the dotted lines. And then if you want to send it backward even more, it's going to go behind all of the other lines as well. And there you have your adapted handwriting line. 
Now what I like to do is I like to highlight all of this and then in the format tab you click this group objects icon and then you're going to click group and that way I can just move this whole thing all the pieces are attached together and then if I just zoom out a little bit I can control copy and paste these lines all the way down my paper so again I'm referring to the numbers here on the side so I'm lining this one up right there so it lines with the three and the two so that's my second line then I'm going to do the same thing going all the way down the paper okay and there you have it so if I zoom out you can see all of my lines here and if I want to shift it a little bit I don't like how there's a big space at the bottom here I'd rather the big space be at the top I could just take all of that and just shift it down that way there's some space at the top for my student to write their name all right and then from here if you're going to print this out you can print it directly from PowerPoint clicking file print and then choosing your printer to print it out or you can also export this to a PDF or change it to a picture as well so if you want to convert it to a PDF you would just click create PDF right here if you want to turn it into a picture file you would click change file type and you can click one of these either PNG or JPEG and if you are planning on sharing this virtually during a teletherapy session you can of course change the dimensions of the slide and the dimensions of the lines to whatever works best in your screen sharing platform and if you would like to make larger or smaller lines for your students all you'd have to do is refer to the ruler on the side of the PowerPoint here to adjust your lines to make them larger or smaller and if you would like to use Google Slides to make your adapted highlight paper it's generally the same overall process it's just that some of the tabs and icons are just a little bit different in Google Slides compared to Microsoft PowerPoint so same thing I'm just going to get rid of this text box here then to resize your slide you're going to click file page setup custom and it'll show you it's in inches so we're going to do 8.5 by 11 for standard size paper click apply and there you have it okay so the same with powerpoint google slides has a ruler or a measurement tool on the left hand side and also at the top if i want to see the numbers i'm going to zoom in so let's zoom into 100 and there you can see the numbers so you can see it goes by inches again one two three four five six seven eight and a half and then by 11 inches on the side here so same sort of thing i don't want to start directly on the left side at the top because i like to leave a little bit of space just in case things get cut off while printing and then up here you can see there's a little line here you're going to click line let's start a half inch over and a half inch down so right about there and it'll show you where you placed it and then same thing I'm going to end about a half inch here and make sure that that's straight and I think I got to drop that a little bit lower so there we go so now I'm all lined up here so same thing all right and then you can change the line color up here I'm going to change it to black and then up here you can change the thickness or the line weight and let's put it at four and then same thing like we did in microsoft powerpoint i'm going to click control copy control paste and since i didn't start on a number i started a half inch down i'm going to go down here and line it up here so from here to here is an inch so again these are going to be one inch lines and I'm going to copy that line again and paste it and then put it directly in the middle of these two lines for my dotted line in the middle and then you're going to click line dash up here and click whichever one you would like 
and there you have your regular one inch handwriting line. And the same thing like we did in Microsoft PowerPoint, you're going to click shape. You're going to choose the rectangle shape and you're going to click and drag to fill up this space in between the dotted line and the bottom line. Then you're going to fill it with whichever color you'd like. I'm going to do yellow again. Make sure you change the border color as well. And as you can see, it is in front of the lines that we put down before. To send this image to the back behind the other lines, you're going to right click, click order, and click send to back. And now the yellow rectangle is behind the other lines. And now we want to group all of these shapes and images so that they stick together. So I'm going to select all by dragging and clicking to select all of these images, right clicking and clicking group. So that way, when I move it, it's moving this whole thing as one full image. And now I'm just going to copy and paste these lines all the way down my highlight paper and I'm trying to space them out a half an inch as you can see here. But you can do it however you'd like to do it. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom out so you can see what it looks like. So here you have all of the lines all the way down the paper. Now if you want to leave a space at the top for the student's name, of course you can delete one of those boxes and you can insert a line and text box for the name and the date. And then if you would like to print this out, you would click File, Print, or you can also download it to a different format. So if you'd like to save it as a PDF, you can click PDF, JPEG image or PNG image. And then just as I mentioned with PowerPoint, you can also change the dimensions of the lines to make them bigger or smaller, or the dimensions of the slide if you want something a little bit bigger to share virtually during your teletherapy sessions. So it's pretty customizable, but this was just a general overview, and I hope this was helpful.